to every man upon this earth, death cometh soon or late. And how can a man die better than facing fearful odds? Facing his heart's passion for the temples of his gods and the ashes of his father. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, that on the deathbed, many people regretted not what they did in life, but what they did not do in their life. And therefore, there is no reason, there is no reason why each one of you sitting here today does not find his heart's passion to do something that you want to do in this life. We have no control over our birth, but we have a control on our death. At the remainder period of our life, what do we want to achieve? How do we see ourselves on the deathbed? And can we leave our footprints on the sands of time? Don't give up. Search you must and find and find your passion, your heart's desire. What exactly is passion? It is that intense energy within you to do something different, to make you happy. It is that fire in your belly, is a tempest in your heart. It's the dream, the dream which does not let you sleep at all. You have to fulfill it. Now, where do you get it? Where do you get this? It's only in the calm mind, in the lake waters of the calm mind, when you throw just, just a small pebble of intention that you'll find in the ripples of time and space, your ideas, an unstoppable river of ideas shall flow. And in that, you will find your goal of life. You will find your aim of life. But in a turbulent mind, even if you throw a skyscraper, you won't get anything. So therefore, go ahead and calm your mind and search. Search your life's desire. How do you do it? Four simple ways. Once you get your goal, Look at your role model. Tap his energy. Take action. And if it is not working, change your attitude. And you shall receive the fruits of your goal. Let me tell you, all said, very easy. But not so easy in life. There will be failures. Your dreams will be shattered. You will fall. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. On a boxing ring, every time you fall and every time you get up, you are a winner. You only lose when you can't get up. Ladies and gentlemen, I have failed. Many people have failed in this life. Edison failed a number of times. Persistence space. Persistence space. Webster took 36 long years to create the Wexper dictionary that you and I use today. Harvey took eight years to find the circulation of blood in a man. And it took 20 years for the medical authorities to accept his vision. Gridini, the biggest, highest violinist of the world, practiced for 12 hours, 12 hours for 20 years to create the passion that he was. Amazing, amazing things happen in this world. Don't give up. It's a hard task and you'll receive the fruit of your labor. Mahatma Gandhi, Leonardo da Vinci, Albert Einstein, Mark Zuberberg, Ian Wright, 
Mahatma Gandhi and all these people, Bismillah Khan, you talk of anybody, everybody has toiled and worked hard to achieve his goal in life. And you will get your goal, provided you follow your heart and your passion to action. I met a street magician called Khadim Saheb, and he said very simply that there are no duplicates in life. You are just the same as you are. There's no distinction by God in the body and brain of each one of us. No distinction in time, weather, food, or air that we shall all breathe or eat. Rich cannot buy and the poor cannot sell even a second of time. That is destiny. And in that year, there was a war between India and Pakistan. First, I made my first passion of becoming a magician, seeing Khadim. And in 1965, there was a war between India and Pakistan, and I was, by that time, the head boy of the school in NCC, and that was my second passion of becoming an army officer and fighting a war. And thereafter, in just about two years' time, 1967, I fulfilled my first passion in life. I became a magician. I performed magic on stage, charged money as a school boy and got my first write-up in 1967, 52 years back, ladies and gentlemen. And in 1971, I fulfilled my second passion in life, of becoming an army officer, and that's me in the, uh, on the right. And during that time, I came first in the course, got a 5 kg silver gun, my name written golden letters in the sanctum sanctorium of all gunners, the school of artillery in golden letters. One of my friends is sitting in the audience tonight, uh, today here, and there I saw a pilot, my third passion in life. You don't have one passion, the passions increase with time. And thereafter, in 1967, I did become a pilot. And out of the four trophies, I got two. Had I got the third one, I would have got the fourth one also, the overall, but they said, ha ha, you got two hands. You should be happy with two only. So I laughed it off and went ahead and flew. I flew the whole country, right? went up to Seachin Glacier. And thereafter, by that time, I had picked up certain attributes in life to be out of the box thinking. I would start early and when others got up, I was always three miles ahead of them. And I had a very clear, very clear vision and mission in my life. And that is the fourth vision of mine, the fourth passion. The highest passion of mine, to touch the souls and hearts of people, which I am doing right now with you all. God bless you all. And thereafter, by 2000, I had my own library of more than 1,500 books that I had read. Passion, passion, passion for reading. Because I believed that only readers shall be leaders, the rest will all follow. And then, and then one day, I decided to hang my boots in the army. I just chucked the army. I did not know what to do next. I did not know, but I had a calling. I had a calling. I had that fire in my belly. I went straight to Bollywood and worked with Sham Benegal. I made a film called Boast the Forgotten Hero. One third of the movie was made by me. That's with Sham Benegal in uh, Burma. And then 37 years later, my first passion came back to me, knocking on my door. Man, you were a magician. Why did you leave me? I said, no, I won't. So I donned my cape and became a magician once again. I would cut women in half. I would cut tongues on the stage. I would walk on water. And I got a write-up right in 2002. His magic spell leaves a tale of laughter. I could make people laugh by doing magic. And then became a TV artist, film, passion, passion. I would do TV ads. <laughs> become a Mahatma and Sadhu. Added iodized ad, converted into 14 languages of India. And then wanted to become a sand artist. Kya baat. Sometimes I feel inside me, yeah, I must meet this man called Ronnie Chibra. I must meet him. It's not me. 
So that was my passion to become a sand artist and then worked to save the girl child. I said, inside she is he also. So I must have she. So she is more important to me than he. So that was my concept of thanking you. Through sand art, I would promote save water, save life. Started launching cars three years down the line. People started writing again, army man turns into sand artist. Passion, passion to action. Mutthi mein sama jati hai dunya. And then became the world's only blindfolded sand animator. I have a copyright in 45 countries of the world. For 60 years after my death, nobody can do it. God bless you all. This is your blessings. And then 2010, picked up by India's Got Talent. Two, because when India Got Talent one came, I was roaming around the world, showing my talent. We had only five people in the world who were doing sign art that time. I then met Ian Wright, the Globe Trotter, Penaz Mesani, Ranbir Kapoor, and many people. And then thought, I must share what I have. I must not take it to my grave. I became a talk motivator. I would go to IIMs, IITs, corporates, motivate people to work like I did in the army. But what was my secret? And take this as your stepping stone in life. Constant and never ending improvement. I improve myself 1%. 1% on a daily basis. Whether I polish my shoes, brush my teeth, say hello. Or tell my wife, I love you, my dear. I still love you. A woman knows that the husband loves her, but she must also hear. I must, I say, on a daily basis. And more beautifully every day. I'll tell you a lot of stories during lunch. Okay. So in 365 days, you don't improve 365, but you improve more than 480. Cumulative effect. First day, 1%, second day, 1.1 and 2.1, and like that, it carries on. So thereafter, I became the world's greatest storyteller, Ronnie Chiba, today. And today, what I'm doing, I'm just spreading the seeds of creativity and that passion to action in each of your hearts. Come, let's go to the sandbox and show you something interesting now. Come. Come to the silent world of inner peace to find our own passion, our own goal in life. Light up the bulb inside, take the knowledge from the role models and spread the light of your passion like the sunshine. As you change inside, you shall change outside like a galloping winning horse on the racing track. Think out of the box. This is a Chinese porcelain vase. Look at the beautiful drawing just with the grains of sand and made only with the hand. That is passion.
Let's come together. Let's join hands to synergize our vision, our core strength, and core values to rocket ourselves and our friends to new territory to find our own vision and passion in life. The universe is open. The restriction is only in your mind. For a mind and a parachute closed can never ever achieve its aim. And therefore, open your mind and see the change. Let's shake hands and share our common goals in life. After today, find your passion. And once you find your passion, fly like a free bird in peace. And carry the flaming torch of your life and become a torch bearer for yourself and for your organization. God bless you all. This is Ronnie Chiba signing off for the day. God bless.